there was just this moment when um, I was playing an event and there was like a thousand people and um, I just saw like how happy people were and um, and like how much energy was moving and I was like wow like music is really powerful like this is what I want to do like I have to do this like it just felt like that's that's my path um, I mean I didn't know how I didn't know how to play any instruments besides turntables, which was helpful in its own way, but like I didn't know anything with notes or piano or any of that. And so to have like an all encompassing experience, and I think at that time I was sort of open to what direction I was gonna go in the music industry. Mm -hmm. like, I didn't know I wanted to be like, I think I did know I wanted to be an artist, but I was also open to like, you know, doing it for film or games or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it, Pure Mind helped me, you know, kind of try everything out and um you know also just the camaraderie with the students and the teachers and all of that um i had a really you know positive experience coming here so but i think there was like a couple things that helped um one was i read there was that book steal like an artist mm -hmm. um and so it because the you know when i started it was all about being original and like you know trying to like come up with my sound and when I read that book, I realized like my sound comes from a combination of influence from a lot of sources. And so when I embraced that and I was able to like learn from people that are better than me, because that's actually what I did with scratching. I would always learn from the videos. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of the same thing. I would just take tracks of people that I, you know, aspire to be and, um, you know, try to set my stuff at that level and see if I can kind of match that. Um, and be really honest if it's not there, mm -hmm. you know. So that was the first thing. And the second thing was um, I got picked up by, uh, he's like a yoga MC named MC Yogi. So I, I started playing with him and then um, as part of it, you know, we were doing concerts, but also he'd be like, can you play my yoga class? Mm -hmm. And then through that, I started touring with Wanderlust, the big yoga festival mm, mm -hmm. but the thing was i still because i love dance parties and playing dance music so i was still all over the place and like nothing was happening and it wasn't till i decided like wow i'm in front of like four thousand people today and i have nothing to offer like i i'm offering my set but i have nothing to sell or promote after that that they would want so and this was at wanderlust yeah, this uh -huh. is when I was with Wanderlust. So uh -huh. I decided like, okay, I'm gonna just try an album and make it as chill as possible and like simple. And so I made an album called The Chill Out Sessions. And um, I put that up, put it on Spotify and something just happened. Like it, it started to gain traction. Like to me, like my monthly listeners on Spotify was like 200 people. And then when I put that out, it went up to like, 10,000 people, which to me was a ton at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, you see those posts and it's like, artists had a hundred million streams and made $5. And I'm like, how's that pot? Like I, I can make a living like a hundred percent from streaming. Like streaming has been like the most amazing thing for my career. So I personally, I think like as an independent artist, like I don't have a label, you know, I'm doing everything myself. Um, that's the next step is to actually build a team. Um, it can be really good as an independent artist to get your music out there. Mm, yeah. And once you get enough volume, you do, you do get paid. So, um, I would do a, you know, a festival set and there'd be like several thousand people at the end. I'd make sure that the teacher would let me make an announcement. And I would say, if anybody wants the playlist from today, you know, sign up for my email list. Mm -hmm. And so I started building my email list, um, from events. And then also through that, um, started to build my Instagram following um, and then like this playlist thing that I've made here so like those are some of the you know the tools that I've used and like with the industry that I'm in mm -hmm. actually like continually putting out fresh music has really helped me to build my brand mm -hmm. um, so I would say like every four like I put out like maybe three albums a year, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. If you're an aspiring music producer and ready to evolve your sound, find out more about our San Francisco ground campus, online classes, and one-on-one -on -one mentorships at pyramind.com.